So look, this is very simple. I'm going to talk about atoms. So listen up, because I wouldn't want you to miss anything. Atom is the Greek word for not divided. Inside each atom is a nucleus made up of protons and neutrons with electrons circling around the nucleus. Protons, neutrons, and electrons are bound together by two major forces, electromagnetism and the strong nuclear force. Now the protons and neutrons are joined by the strong nuclear force, while the protons and electrons are attracted through electromagnetism. Now just for argument's sake, think of it this way. Think of an atom as a relationship, like between a man and a woman. And think of the nucleus as the binding. The joining of the neutrons and the protons are like the strong monogamous relationship, I guess you could say, while the electrons circling around are like the temptation. You know, like your desire to maybe have an affair or a one night stand. The strong nuclear force that joins protons and neutrons, you could say is a lot like love. While electromagnetism is a lot like love. Fission is when an atom splits in two. When the force holding the nucleus together dissolves, the protons and neutrons rearrange themselves to form new atoms. When the neutrons are let off as a result of this split, it causes other atoms to decay, leading to a chain reaction 
that makes neighboring atoms split too. When this happens and it reaches a critical state, all it can possibly lead to is chaos. Like when a relationship has gone bad, hearts are broken, people split, they move on to new relationships that could be rebounded, which means they break other hearts, and more hearts get broken, and eventually all it leads to is one big emotional mess. Carbon is one of the most important and is essential to life on Earth. 